our core business is the welfare of children. And that's why our slogan is saving lives and serving children. One of our uh, main program is the uh, OVC, that is Orphans and Vulnerable Children Care and Support. In that program, we have three different categories. Number one, we have the community care and support of orphans and other vulnerable children. These are the children that have been orphaned but are residing within the community. Uh, we also have our Babies Rescue Center. Our Babies Rescue Center is referred to as a New Start Center. This center came to being due to a crisis that was facing children who have been orphaned mainly due to HIV and AIDS. Many children were being orphaned, ab uh, abandoned, and uh, we had several stories and until it came to us that we needed to have a shelter where we can be able to shelter these children. We also have our girls shelter. This is girls, a shelter for girls who are facing some uh, abuse uh, or uh, at contest risk of facing abuse. That is from uh, female genital mutilation, uh, sexual violence, uh, forced marriage, early forced marriage, crisis pregnancy, severe physical abuse. We rescue those children. We offer uh, counseling or what we call the aftercare support. That is counseling, that is health, uh, that is shelter, and also legal support. And then after that, we rehabilitate them back into the community. Now, our main second other activity is healthcare services. Uh, we have a dispensary currently. Uh, where we offer all the others, uh, all the services, uh, uh, beginning with uh, MCH, reproductive health, and OI for the children that are living with HIV and AIDS. Uh, we usually do a lot of community outreach, that is mobile uh, healthcare services, mobile mobile clinics. And in our mobile clinics, we mainly target the children that are in our support as well as other children within that particular community. And apart from the healthcare services, we also offer voluntary counseling and, sub, uh, and testing uh, for people who uh, want to come forward and know their HIV and AIDS status. Uh, our other main program is uh, community empowerment. In community empowerment, you realize many of these caregivers are aged and they are not able to support the children. So apart from us always giving them handouts, like you give them uniform, we give them food, and we support their medicals, we also want to empower those caregivers who are mainly the old grandmothers, so that they're able to stand on their feet to be able to support these children. So we've come up with a garden and guardian empowerment program, and right now our main focus is on daily goats. Uh, you realize daily goats are easy to maintain for an old grandmother. And then we also do micro, I mean, um, revolving fund, whereby we give some little money so that they can start their own small income generating activity as well as kitchen garden.